Hi, I guess you remember the MSX computer I showed in a previous video, but uh, it's quite boring to load games on it, because the only way I can load games is with tape images from an Android app on my phone. So I thought what to do about the loading times and the best idea probably is to get a cartridge based solution with flash media. I went googling and looked at the MSX wiki, uh, but there are a lot of solutions like uh, for example the Carnivore 2 that are quite expensive with over 100 euros or you can't buy them in Europe or they aren't available anymore. Hmm. Then I asked a friend and he told me he bought a cartridge from 8-Bits Forever and here's their shop and they have this SD512. And the SD512 is a memory mapper with 512 kilobytes and an SD card solution in one for 60 euros. So I clicked to order this. And there it is, a small package from Spain. So let's open it up. What this is, I will tell you in another video. But now for the SD512. There it is in all its glory. Yeah. Of course we need an SD card and have to set it up. So this is an 8 gig SD card and from factory there's a FAT32 file system on it. But FAT32 is not readable for the SD512, you need FAT16 and the biggest partition size of FAT16 is 4GB. Uh, 
take anything less than four gigabytes and you're okay. Uh, you don't need much more than one or two gigabytes. So I'll delete the old partition, do a new one with FAT16 and chose 2048. That's two gigabytes and that's enough. And now we can format the drive. So here I have the download files. I downloaded most of them from the link uh, 8 Bits Forever gave me, uh, but a newer version of Sofa Run uh, from the internet and uh, the Mappy ROM to test against the loading times of over four minutes we saw with the cassette. First, you need to install the boot files on the SD card. And you need a new folder for Sofa Run called SR and a folder for the games. And now you need to install Sofa Run in the SR folder. And the game ROMs in the games folder. So take a look, games folder, Sofa Run folder, that should be it. Let's try it out. The SD512 has two slots, one for full-sized SD cards and one for micro SD cards. So you can choose which you want or use two SD cards. And now we put it in the cartridge slot. Let's try it out. And it's booting from the SD card. And we find ourselves in the MSX DOS and there's a prompt like in MS DOS because MSX DOS is made by Microsoft also uh, and it looks very similar. So you can CD to a directory, you can dir, And there's our SR, we don't want the splash screen. And upon first start, it creates directories for saves and temp and the settings. And there's our menu. And remember, we are in the SR directory, so we have to go up one directory Go to the games folder, there's our Mappy ROM. And instant loading. And for a better user experience, we like to auto start Sofa Run. And uh, of course, I like to put some more games on it. And auto starting Sofa Run is like in MS DOS, uh, you put an auto exec but uh, in the root directory of the SD card uh, with this content. First you set the path. Remember to set the path to the SR directory. Um, then you CD to the directory where your games are located and start SR here without splash screen and from the actual uh, directory we are in. And I show you how this looks. So switch it on. In the hit bit menu, you have to select basic to boot from the SD card. Now it's booting.
and SofaRun has auto started and we are in the games folder and as you can see I made a CAS, a DSK and a ROM folder and you can navigate with your joystick and uh, best on SofaRun is that it also can start CAS files, so cassette images So let's reset the machine. And here is the DSK image, that's a floppy disk image. This can even be zipped, so Faran will extract it on runtime. And now we can launch it. There you have it. Okay, let's reset. And it takes a bit to scan the ROM folder. And these are cartridge ROMs. And now I'm going to play some Galaga. Have fun. Bye.